Hey guys, this is Nick and this is my Linux experiment. Uh, in today's video I'd like to try something a little bit special. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Caden Live, but uh, the problems I had with Caden Live. So, first of all, uh, I used PTV for uh, I think a month, maybe a month and a half, uh, to edit some videos uh, for my channel, my very, very, very small channel. And, um, well, everybody was talking to me about Caden Live, I was seeing posts and videos about Caden Live over and over and over again. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll try it. So I installed it and all the gigantic KDE libs that uh, came with it. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's try it. So I created a project on it. Uh, I really enjoyed my time using it and uh, I think it has more effects, it has more features like markers, uh, it has a better media library, uh, it has better effects, it has better rendering options such as rendering a selected portion of your track uh, to preview your quality, it has better export options, better quality options, well, it's all over a more complete package than PTV which is more suited for really small pet projects, maybe family video projects or stuff like that. So I really fell in love with it and I only used it uh, to edit my videos. I completely abandoned PTV and moved completely to Caden Live. Uh, but then something happened. I got too greedy. Uh, the thing is, the, if you're using elementary OS right now, you might know that uh, the version in uh, the repositories is a pretty old one. I think it's a 14 dot something. And Caden Live is actually at the 16 dot something version. Or 17 that's something probably 17 and uh, I was like okay sure let's try a newer version because I did my uh, preview of Caden Live and I felt really stupid because I was like hey maybe the, in the interface changed or maybe the controls changed or maybe the rendering options changed and maybe my video is completely out of date so I went to the Caden Live website because there is no way on the elementary OS repositories to update Caden Live to a higher version so I went online, I went to the Caden Live website, and I saw a few options. There is a app image, a snap package which is no longer maintained and cannot be installed anymore, and there is a uh, flat pack. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll try the app image. I launched it, it looked horrible, no theming, uh, really weird fonts, and no GPU acceleration, couldn't even uh, activate it in the settings. So I said, okay, fine, this version is not for me, I'm gonna try the flat pack. Installed the Flatpak, well I installed Flatpak first, then the uh, Caden Live Flatpak, then I launched the program. It uh, spouted at me a few, uh, a few errors about a missing locale, but no problems here, it could import my projects. I liked the interface, I was like, okay, sure, fine. But could not activate the GPU either. Uh, it did not detect my GPU, even though there is the NVIDIA driver installed. And uh, I actually uninstalled the driver and reinstalled it, which did not help at all and actually broke my system for a little bit. So I had to reinstall my driver, then uninstall the flatback, reinstall it, didn't change anything, could not use the GPU acceleration. So I was like, fine, there might be a PPA somewhere. So I found a Caden Live PPA and installed it and updated my Caden Live, my libraries, uh, my FFmpeg version, my Melt library, which is used for GPU effects. I did the whole shebang and I started using it and it worked fine, perfectly fine. I could edit my videos, I could open my old projects. I was like, hey, I'm sold. So I created a new project on it, uh, which was my Linux file system video, uh, which I uploaded uh, tonight, actually. So I started trying it, I edit my project, I try to render it, and the rendering crashes right at the start. So I'm like, okay, it doesn't like WebM, it uh, told me there was an error about WebM. I'm like, okay, changing the format. So I'm switching to MP4, rendering, the rendering goes all the way to the end and crashes at 99%. So I read a little bit online, somebody uh, seems to think that uh, having too many threads uh, rendering threads uh, can affect negatively the capacity to render, so I reduced the threads to one, re-render, same crash. Everything I tried, every single format, every uh, replacing some clips that I thought might be problematic, some MPG clips that didn't work really fine with PTV I thought might be the error, I remove them, I redo the project, I re-render it, crash, 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 all the time, always crashes. So I'm like, okay, fine. Why the fuck did I install this PPA version anyways? My version worked fine, so sure the interface has changed a little bit, but the new version deleted all the, the old wipes I liked, uh, and well, it cannot render, so it's basically useless to me. That was uh, Wednesday, I think. So I'm like, okay, fine, this doesn't work on my system, I'm gonna wait for another version, I'm gonna downgrade. So I PPA purge the whole fucking shebang, remove the PPA from my source list, reinstall the old version. But then the old version doesn't work anymore. Nope, 
it fails to render as well. It stays stuck at 99%. Every time, every single render, it stops at 99%. So I'm like, sure, okay, maybe a problem in the settings. I reduce the threads, I increase the threads, I change the quality settings, I change the export format, nothing works. All the time, rendering fails at 99%. So after losing a few hours and uh, a few hair uh, on my head, I'm like, okay, fine. What am I gonna do? I reinstall the PPA. I completely uninstall Caden Live. Then I PPA purge the PPA. Then I completely remove the PPA from my system. Then I reinstall Caden Live. Still no dice. Not working. Not one bit. Nope. So I retry the flat pack and I retry it again and it doesn't work. Still no GPU acceleration, still the failing rendering, uh, well, yeah, I, I really managed actually to activate their GPU, I don't really know what I did, maybe just restarting the system worked. I could activate GPU acceleration for rendering, which allowed me to use some effects, uh, which I liked, so I was like, fine, this time it's gonna work, but rendering crashes right at, this, right at the end, exactly like the PPA version. So, I didn't know what to do, I uninstalled everything related to Qt, KDE or anything, reinstalled the uh, oldest version of Caden Live that they were in the repositories, updated it to the latest version available in the repositories, and now it works. Only thing is, I tried to open my project that I edited in uh, the latest version of Caden Live, uh, the, the one I installed on the PPA, the 17. something version, and of course, Caden Live isn't forwards compatible, so the file format has changed, and now I cannot open my project. So I had to redo it all over again yesterday. Redid the whole project, well, I already had the rushes, so I only had to redo the editing, but it took me a few hours to do something correctly, then re-rendering it. This time it worked, I could upload it, and now I have a running Caden Live again. So, what this rumble is about is, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. The latest version doesn't bring that much to the table and if it works for you and if it's critical to what you want to do, I wouldn't say it's my job because making videos isn't my job, it's just a hobby on the side. I actually work a 9 to 7 p.m. something work job. Uh, so, well, I don't need this to earn my bread or to gain some money, but I do enjoy making a few videos every day, or well, every week, because I don't publish every day, but I like and enjoy making videos every single week. And I could not do that anymore, well, I could have gone back to PTV, but then again, I would have had to redo all my projects, all my effects weren't there, and the editing features and the rendering features are, well, not as good as on Caden Life, so I could have gone back to that, but I didn't want to. So, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it by installing something from a PPA, from an app image or anything. Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You're gonna lose your time, you're gonna lose your projects, you're gonna fail at life. So, well, this rant and rumble is over, guys, and, uh, well, sorry for oversharing this story, but, well, that really pissed me off and I wanted to get it out, and you're the only one that will understand because nobody cares about Linux or Kid Live in my friends and uh, my my uh, close family so there you go there you have it don't try and fix it if it works no use don't try it just keep what works thank you guys and i see you in the next one bye